The Tao Te Ching Chapter 1 In the ancient text the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu we can see that each verse is an aspect and expression of a variety of concepts of non-dual philosophy. In this video series we'll look at each chapter of the Tao Te Ching sequentially. Let's listen to the poem, as beautifully translated by Stephen Mitchell, and then investigate its deeper meaning. The poem reads, The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The nameless is the beginning of heaven and earth. The named is the mother of 10,000 things. Ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Ever desiring, one can see the manifestations. These two spring from the same source but differ in name. This appears as darkness. Darkness within darkness. The gate to all mystery. This first verse of the Tao Te Ching reflects several key concepts closely tied to non-dualist philosophy. Non-dualism, or Advaita in Hindu philosophy, is the belief that there is an ultimate reality beyond dualities and distinctions. Where all apparent opposites are ultimately united. The verse emphasizes that the Tao, the eternal reality or principle underlying all things, cannot be fully captured or defined by words or concepts. It states that the Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao and the name that can be named is not the eternal name. Non-dualist thought asserts that the ultimate truth is beyond intellectual understanding and cannot be fully expressed through language. It highlights the limitation of language and concepts in grasping the profound reality. The verse distinguishes between the nameless and the named. It suggests that the nameless, the unmanifested or formless, is the source of all things, the beginning of heaven and earth. While the named, the manifested or formed, is the mother of the diverse phenomena in the world, the mother of 10,000 things. This differentiation implies the underlying unity of all things, as they arise from the same source but appear diverse due to names and forms. Non-dualism recognizes that the diversity of the world is an expression of the underlying unity. The verse highlights the importance of desirelessness in perceiving the mysteries of existence. It states, ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Non-dualism teaches that desire creates attachment, which obscures our ability to perceive the true nature of reality. By letting go of desires and attachments, one can attain a state of clarity and insight, allowing a deeper understanding of the profound mysteries of existence. The verse concludes with the phrase, darkness within darkness. The gate to all mystery. This suggests that the deepest truths lie within the realm beyond conceptual understanding, where duality and distinctions dissolve. Non-dualism asserts that the ultimate reality transcends all opposites and can be found within the darkness of unknowing. By embracing this darkness and relinquishing our attachments to concepts and dualities, we can access the gate to profound understanding. In summary, verse 1 of the Tao Te Ching, as translated by Stephen Mitchell, resonates closely with non-dualist concepts. By emphasizing the limitations of language and concepts, the underlying unity behind apparent diversity the importance of desirelessness, and the recognition of a deeper reality beyond duality and distinctions. 
It invites us to explore the mysteries of existence by transcending our limited understanding and embracing the profound unity that lies within the namelessness and the darkness of the void. Thanks for watching.